It's hard to be crabby on camera, isn't it? Yeah, because they don't want any of that in the vlog at all. It's all going in the vlog. They better not. This whole conversation. Oh, sh shite. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Hajime! I'm back again. I'm sorry. I did not film a lot. My GoPro decided to be a big jerk. I got to my first practice. GoPro decided to turn on in my backpack and drain all of its battery. Committed GoPro suicide. No GoPro for the first workout. No footage. I went to pole vault practice. My dad couldn't make it because he's coaching high school. GoPro again. Turned itself on in my backpack. No footage. Since I lift right after I pole vault and the GoPro was dead. No footage! Yeah, that happened about four more times. No, 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 no footage! It makes it hard to make vlogging videos if you don't have any footage. So I'll try and be creative this week and see what happens. I'm so sorry I don't have pole vault footage. It went awesome. It was a good day. I got back to six. Biggest pole I've ever been on in practice from six. Uh, it was a 17.4, 190 Acer Carbon from six lefts. There were, we had the, a crossbar up at 17 feet. I don't think I've ever had that much height over there, that bar in my entire life, even from full approach. So I was, I was pretty excited. I wish I had a video of it, but I don't. Dang it! So I'll fix that next time, hopefully. I did two speed endurance days this week, Wednesday and Sunday. Um, the first one I did eight 150s. They were really fast. They were 16 seconds. Uh, low to 16 seconds mid by the end. I don't think I really run that fast. I had a screaming tailwind behind me. Acceleration day went great. I have some footage of that. And the awesome Apple Valley High School crew let me do the workout with them. How's the workout going? Good. Good? <laughs> Suck? What's the worst part about it? Long and Friday. Long and Friday. <laughs> Amen to that. I modified it for a high school and we busted through that thing. Did uh, some accelerations with the weight vest, 20 sprints, 10 20s and 10 40s with two sets of plyos in between. They rocked it out like a champ. It was awesome. I keep getting souvenirs, and one of the high school kids gave me this. Hoot hoot. Hoot hoot. Hoot. Hoot hoot hoot. Hoot 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 Sorry. I'll never do that again. So, as you guys have seen, Carrie, my girlfriend, has been in a bunch of these vlogs. I hate being on camera. I hate you. I hate it. Oh, the luck. She's a massage therapist. I finally felt comfortable enough asking to have a massage. I just feel guilty asking. I can't do it. It just feels weird. Hey, I know you had your day off from work, but hey, can you work some more on me? So she finally just said, I like to do it. That's why I'm doing it. And that's why it's my job. So let me do it. I'm going to do it. It's going to be good. It's going to help you. It's going to be good. It's going to be two good things. It's going to be awesome. Good. Just, let's keep doing it. So it's good. So I said, okay. So much pain. It's the most painful thing I've ever had in my entire life. She goes like this. Sean, you are fun to work with because you are full of knots. So full of knots. This is fun to work on. But then halfway through, she's like, Sean, you're not fun to work on because you're so full of knots and there's nothing but knots everywhere. And you know what? You, I get rid of a big chunk of these knots and then you go work out for a week and come back and they're back again. I'm supposed to do that. It sucks, but I think she likes causing me pain. And I do, I feel better. My shoulders have never felt better. And sometimes I get out of bed and I can't walk because my glutes are so tight. 
throws a people's elbow in there. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? And gets them out, <laughs> and then I bring them back next week. That's how it goes. So yeah, uh, that's been pretty much my week. One of the days... I didn't want to drive all the way to Apple Valley or Hastings. I did a modified speed endurance workout. There's a hill by my house, and I ran up that thing. It's not the hate speed endurance days. It hurts. It's like running the treadmill. Yeah, hey, yeah, it's hard. It's hard, but it's good. Randomness of the week. We have this little dog. I named him Squishy because as soon as the puppy was born, squishy, I was squishy. watching Finding Nemo. And if you remember that scene where they're like, I shall name him Squishy. And Squishy's been his name ever since. <laughs> yeah, I just let him chill out in my room because I like him a lot. He goes crazy. Um, I look over and he was crawling in my hoot shirt. <laughs> he couldn't get out. He was doing like backflips and my shirt was freaking out. So I grabbed the GoPro immediately and started filming. And uh, Squishy is now an official member of Team Hoot. Come on! I say so. Hey! You did it! He's an official member of Team Hoot. Crawled in there himself, went crazy. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. A few weeks ago, I had a person ask me what I do for shin splint prevention. So I uh, said I'd make a video. And then as soon as I was thinking about making the video, I had about 15 other people ask me the same thing. I really gotta get on making this video. I'm gonna show you what I do. I'm not going to say it works for everybody, but it works for me. Yeah, so here's that. Okay, some exciting news. I have a couple meets lined up finally. I'm going to head out to Mount Sac Relays. I think I got into the Drake Relays. I got a confirmation email from the meet director, but I haven't heard back from him since. So I'm going to try and get a hold of him again this week. See if I got any drink. Um, there's a super bonus meet that I can't tell you about because I haven't got a confirmation. I don't want to get you guys excited, but I will let you know about that one. I am going to go possibly NDSU once and a couple just local meets around the Twin Cities area before I do the USATF Outdoor Champs. Hopefully, Hopefully if I get in. It's not official yet, but I'm hoping I get in again. I would love to jump there again. So, I'm gonna do my best to get into that meet. Another thing, immediately upon submitting this video, I am going to finally get to posting some of my single jumps that are only like six seconds long, so you guys don't have to go through a whole vlog. They're not 100% technically pretty, but some parts of them are really good, I believe. So, I will post those and you guys can rip them apart because that seems to be what happens on YouTube. <laughs> so, it's on its way. Also, I finally got the PayPal account set up. I will post the link if you guys would like to donate to my cause of trying to travel and keep doing this pole vault thing, which costs money, which sucks. But I'm working out a plan where if you donate a certain amount, I will watch some jumps for you guys or write you like a month plan. I am working on the document right now. It's on its way too, but I finally got that set up. That's going to help out a lot. So I will get the link, It'll everything will be posted down below in the description area down here or maybe if I'm smart enough I can figure out how to put it in my hand sorry again this is so short and sweet there's not a lot of vault footage or training footage I will do my best to get more I'm here to do what you guys want so what do you want to see tell me what you want to see and I will post it like always please subscribe share these with your friends comment like do whatever you feel like is necessary and I will be back next week Remember how way at the beginning of my vlogging, I told you I got kicked off of Yahoo Answers because someone asked, Hey, how do you tell a horse's age? And I said, You cut him in half and count his rings. <laughs> someone goes, why are, why are there crickets invading my house? Never seen them before, and all of a sudden there's crickets everywhere. What do I do to get rid of crickets? And I wrote, How about you buy 30 spiders and let them loose? It will kill the crickets. But then you'll need a bunch of snakes to kill the spiders. And then cats to kill the snakes. Then after that, you'll need a fox to kill the cats. And then an eagle to kill the fox. And after that, a polar bear to kill the eagle. But now you have a polar bear problem. In retrospect, crickets don't seem that bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite one. <laughs>